For the situation we're in, it's fairly mint. Yes or no? Look at the other side, this is much better. My name is Connor Shanahan, I'm 15, and this is my professional drift car. Drifting is my life, and I want to prove to myself that I can come on top this season, beating the strongest drivers in the European Superstar Series. But it's not going to be easy. One of my strongest rivals is my brother Jeff. Yeah, your older and more talented brother. <laughs> Together we're going to take you behind the scenes of our journey and expose the highs and lows while traveling as a family throughout Europe. And of course, have some fun along the way. It has taken a lot of family effort to get where we are today. Our family has put everything on the line. And we are not stopping here. History into the making. You're watching The Shanahan's. Hey everyone, this is episode 13 of our vlog. This week we're in Frappolis. This vlog we decided to do something different than a regular vlog. So we will be talking about Riga, Germany and the whole in between. We had an incredible event in Riga, started really good. The team found the problem which I've been struggling with all year basically. With the brakes, they got it sorted, I felt really confident in the car, probably the most confident in the car, what I felt all year. Really good practice, they into qualifying, qualified third, which I was really, really happy with. Yeah, the balance came and everything was ran in the one day in Riga, so it got quite hectic, especially when the team was running two cars and there was probably only enough people to run one car. There was a bit of miscommunication, unfortunately my tire pressures weren't done in the car, which meant we didn't have the same grip which we had all weekend so yeah I was battling an Afrian wild card as I didn't have the pace he pushed me around the course and then I went to chase him I didn't have the speed and that was that but yeah these things happen we learn from the mistake which is probably a good thing when you look at it in that situation that we can move forward now and uh, yeah we learned a big thing there so yeah overall quite a good weekend but unfortunately it didn't end the way we wanted to. We had an absolute unbelievable time there. From the get-go, just after we loved the track, the car suited the track down to a T. Full angle, full draw everywhere. In qualified first, finished off qualifying with a 360 for the fans. Unbelievable time when it came to battles. Everything ran as smooth as it could have and got all the way to the top four where Gotcha, he got me. And uh, he went down to the final, but I battled Zalaski and what a battle it was. Probably one of my favorite battles of the year. And to get third place in Riga was absolutely unbelievable. And it was the day of my birthday, so it's just class. So, great weekend for me and Riga, absolutely love it. So after the podium, we had to bring the car back to the pits. And when I got back to the pits, we heard a knock on the engine. So, not a nice thing to be thinking about after just coming third. Um, Flo works for uh, Jeroen, who owns DBM Engineering in the Netherlands. And he made a quick call to Jeroen and explained to him the situation. And uh, these guys, they just stepped up to the task and they said, look, get back to the Netherlands as fast as you can and we will fully rebuild the engine and get it retuned and get everything done. Okay, so we got to DBM Engineering and we got stuck in straight away. Uh, we got the engine out of the car, we got it fully stripped down. Uh, Jeroen, uh, like obviously seeing where all the issues were, we had to get parts ordered. I think it was like lunchtime that day. We had all the parts in the garage, everything done. Engine stripped, new crank, everything ready to go. By the end of that day, like we had to fly home that night because we had to come back and get to work and see if we could actually make enough money to get back to Germany. So Flo and Jeroen, they worked their ass off to get the engine redone, everything back together. They even got time to map the car, get the engine performing exactly how I wanted it to. So like the work that was put in, a full engine rebuild back in the car and dyno all in the space of four days, which is absolutely unbelievable. So massive thanks to those guys for putting in all of the hours they did. Like working early in the morning, late in the evening, just to get me back on track was absolutely unbelievable. So thank you guys. Even though the guys were crazy busy at their own stuff, 
Yeah. When we got back, they also fixed Jack's engine, but Perfect. gave a lot of time to us. Brought us cool car, they brought us to see the city. Yeah. Really, really good guys, took really good care of us. And um, yeah, forever grateful for what they done to fix Jack's car and took uh, good care of my car as well while I was there. So yeah, yeah they made sure that everything <laughs> was good in my car as well. So. So. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thanks guys. So after everything done by DBM Engineering, we packed everything up, headed towards Germany, as that's where our next event was. We've seen some pictures of this venue, some uh, drone pictures of all the place, and it looked absolutely incredible. We heard that it was an old mining place, what was turned into a lake, and then they used the ground for like a festival thing. Yeah, the track looked awesome. We arrived there at night, and I was like, wow, this is incredible. All the machines were lit up, the track was lit up. People were saying that there's gonna be like 10,000 people here. So it was just nuts, I couldn't wait to get the event started. Woke up the next morning, went for a little walk around. There was a beach, sand, then there was a massive stage for the festival at night. We got tugs on. Send the shit out of it. <laughs> the sexiest lads in Germany at the moment. Born in a sandwich bag. <laughs> Come on, will you whip Hello. it <laughs> Everything was just getting better and better and the championship was also running with Iron Drift King, which was like the local championship for that event. We had more time to kind of relax. Uh, the team and stuff went swimming in the lake. Which on Saturday while we had downtime with Irish of King, we all said we'd go because they had like a little raft that we could like push out in the lake. So we all went and went for a swim, got to chill out in the sun. So it was like a little getaway for the team during the weekend as well to just chill out a bit. Come on, boys! <laughs> 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 uh, when it came to the actual track, it didn't like amaze me, you could say. It was like kind of tight and technical and for some reason that used to be my kind of thing and now my kind of thing is more full throttle and just blasting tires off the back of the car. Where Germany was a lot more kind of like, it was like a little flick and then onto the wall and all that kind of stuff. So compared to the likes of Riga, where you're like, you could die any second, it was unbelievable. <laughs> Practice got underway, done first two laps in the car. Yeah, it was tight and technical, but the entry was like, it looked really simple, but you kind of had to think about what way you were going to enter. And the track actually was quite enjoyable for me. It brought close battles and stuff. You could get really close chase position. It was quite fun. So practice was going really good, was enjoying it. And then we got back to the pits and it looked like something was wrong with the air filter. So the team took it off and actually the turbo sucked in the air filter, damaged all the fins in the turbo. But a massive thanks to one of our great sponsors, Turbo Systems, had um, given us spare turbo as what we're in the back of the truck. So yeah, it was just a case of ripping that turbo off, hanging on a new one and we were ready to go again. And then it was qualifying time. Qualifying was good for me, went out, I was like eight cars from last, so these guys all still had to go. Um, scored like a 90, yeah, 90 I think then. Next on the line, well here's one of the 15 years of age representing Ireland, Connor Shannon. In the 650 horsepower car. Ready to replicate some success he had last year. Has another perfect season so far this year, but it's been coming extremely hard. With some big results as Connor Shannon takes it right out to the wall on outer zone two, and tagging towards the wall on outer zone three. You see a lot of scores that being removed from the cars as they've taken some heavy hits. Big practice as Connor Shannon puts the rear end of that car nice and close to those outer zones. Towards outer zone five and six, a very smooth run in throughout the course. Looking confident there is the other side. 92 for Connor Shanahan. Judges saying the perfect line almost around the entire circuit. Puts himself into first position with his first run with a 92. Kind of done my first run, which was like on the line and doing what I was meant to do. Got a 90, yeah, 92, I think it was, which left me in second. And then for my second run, I just went a little bit mad, had a laugh, and just like tried back it in the first corner. It was good fun. Ended up second in qualifying, which wasn't too bad because James had scored 99 points after doing an absolute mental run, so it wasn't that bad losing him this time. So then we went to the top 32 battles against uh, Brandy in his crazy BMW. It was a little bit too crazy for his track because he done a dirty clutch kick and left his whole diff all over the track. Uh, it was an easy one battle, so we moved on to the top 16. Yeah, for me, in the top 32, well, I battled Zesty in OBMW. Uh, the battle was okay, I just kept it clean, two consistent runs. Uh, got on the radio after the first run that he made some mistakes, so kept it clean for the second run, yeah. advanced on to the top 16. Easy enough win, but yeah, it was uh, definitely not easy competition after that. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, so when I moved on to the 16, I was up against uh, Adam Zaleski, who is like a rival of mine from 
the previous round in Riga. So I knew he was going to be pushing extremely hard and he wanted revenge for me to take him down. When I got to my lead run, I'd done a consistent enough line. I knew he was there. I could just see the yellow G36 jumping my door the whole way around. So he had a little bit of pace on me. So I knew I had to push hard from the get-go. So on my chase run, jumped a little bit too much and just launched into the first corner. And as I washed down along the wall, it just kind of went a little bit tits up for me there. Pressed the brakes a little bit too late made slight contact with him and had like a massive correction behind him so I had to just try push him around from there and hope for the best and obviously it wasn't enough I knew myself that I hadn't done it so fair play to him for getting me back I guess this could be revenge in the next 15 seconds to a minute well, they, and that, yeah. if Shannon can't get the job done here he may fall down the order in that championship it may slip out of his fingers he's got to pull has something sensational here he can trust Adam Zaleski in that lead position he's a phenomenal driver so Shannon's going to throw caution to the win here as they come through the gear throw it Shannon with a very aggressive initiation. Ties Adam Zalewski and has to stay in it. And now it's messed up Shannon in the chase position. Overly aggressive on the first quarter. Zalewski stays in it. Now Shannon's got to do everything he can to stay on the door. It might not be enough to overturn the mistake, but he's got to risk it. And wow, they're on inches from each other as they transition into that last car. Look at Shannon up on the door. Incredible driving, sending the German audience absolutely crazy here in this arena. The rivalry continues. Yeah, top 16 for me. We managed to get to the top eight afterwards. We battled Zahan, which was quite an enjoyable battle. We've battled each other now a fair oh, few sure. times. Um, always we end up battling each other top 16 or top 16. We have some good battles. I knew he was going to push hard as I beat him the last two times, so I knew he was going to be gunning for it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we had fun. Just the same thing, kind of kept it clean. I didn't need to do anything too crazy. I kind of was starting to make mistakes and I kind of realized, okay, if I keep driving like this, I'm not going to get far in the competition. So I kind of looked at it as I need to tidy things up. We managed to get the win. Obviously, I would have preferred to maybe drive better in that battle, but we got the win. That's the most important thing. And then we moved on to the top eight. So after the hammer was Macro Zachel, the figure skater guy, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, we moved into the top eight. I was feeling good. I knew that if I got the win in this one, I was going to be in the top four, which was quite looking forward to that. I didn't really think much about the battle. We knew the car was fast. So yeah, got to the start line. I was leading first. I was the higher qualifier. Done a pretty decent lead run. I knew he was there, but he was making some mistakes along the way. So Yeah, I was probably feeling Yeah, exactly. Few, yeah. Few clean chase run. Clean chase run, stay close, and um, you will get it. So didn't really think much about it. I knew the car was fast, but OK, maybe we'll have the pace. So as we went up the straight, it didn't seem that fast through the first corner. Mm -hmm. I stayed with him, done exactly as you said. And then, literally, he just went, but full throttle, see you later, buddy. Zachro's got a very fast car. Shannon could not afford to let him get away, and he's not. As it comes to the gear, Shannon initiates before the lead driver and stays right on the rear quarter panel. Marco Zachro, and look at this. Shannon, has he got the pace? Look at Zachro's car going in that corner. Yeah, he's sacrificing the line, Dave. He's dropped out as I'm free now. He gets onto the wall. Zachro puts foot to the floor. He starts to pull away from that qualifying line. He's dropped the pace. He smokes out Connor Shanahan some fire in his face and a big separation runs up but Zachary will not have clean lead line could that come against him and yeah, he made some mistakes along the way, so it was still kind of hanging in the ropes, but the, the gap he pulled towards the end was just too much. Yeah. The car was absolutely crazy fast. I think I've never ever battled a car that was so fast. So then, yeah, the decision was made. And yeah, unfortunately I lost the battle, but it was the fifth overall place, which was pretty, pretty decent. I was quite happy with it. Yeah, it was a really good event for me. Fifth overall, qualifying for it. Couldn't be happier. So after Germany that left us sitting in third place in the championship which left us with some sort of a fighting chance of uh, getting to clinch on that title but um, it means that like James and Dwayne will have to get knocked out of top 16 and I'd have to have a perfect weekend from start to finish so my hopes aren't exactly up in the air you know at, at the moment. Yeah for me after Germany we're sitting 7th in the championship there's no chance I can probably get inside the top 3 but I can climb my way maybe to 4th or 5th yeah not the best year but if I can finish maybe yeah towards the top 5 everything will be good. Yeah so so moving on to Jetfest, like it's just like hitting home, home crowd. It's gonna be intense, it's gonna be stressful. We've got a few little things to do to the cars before we get to the event as well. So You're we're gonna be doing pressure, not me. Yeah, so Connor can actually enjoy the weekend as well, yeah. probably gonna be freaky out. So yeah, but like the home crowd is probably gonna be one of our most enjoyable events of the year because we just love getting home and the fact that it's Jetfest as well, like there's guaranteed ten thousand people gonna yeah. be at this event. It's like one of the biggest events of the year, so cannot wait for it. Mm -hmm. 